Oh, welcome to a quick tutorial video on Arena 4D and animations. Um, one of the things we've been asked a lot by recently uh, from clients is how to perhaps animate objects within a video. So rather than doing a simple fly through or, or cut through of the data, they actually want uh, uh, the data to move or bits of the data to move within a movie, uh, be that a 3D model, uh, CAD diagram pictures or point cloud. Um, so I thought put together a, a quick video just to show how this is achieved in Arena 4D. So first thing I'm going to do is open a point cloud. There we go. Um, this point cloud is 300 million points so it's a, a reasonable size point cloud. And what I'm going to do is Let's say take a look from the side. I'm going to take the roof off the uh, the building. So I'm going to select our editing tools, uh, and I'm going to select the roof. Uh, let's put a bit of lighting on just to make that a bit clearer. See what I've selected. Um, and what I'm going to do is take a copy of that data. Uh, I'm call it roof, and let that process and copy all that data off. Which probably I don't know about. 20, 30 million points or so. Okay, now that's done. We've got those points in there. I can either hide or delete the points from the original point cloud. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the points. So now it looks like we've got a complete point cloud once again, except I can turn the roof on and off. Um, just to emphasize, um, when we delete points uh, in Arena 4D, it's non-destructive editing. Um, so whilst they're removed from the original point cloud, um, at any point I can undo that and put them back, take them away again. Um, so they're not gone from the file, uh, they're just gone from the current view. Okay, so taking the roof off. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to go and place myself inside the data now and maybe I want to do something as well with one of these uh, pillars. Um, so the easiest way to isolate these is add a clip box around it. Let's extend that up, Let's say about there, go down to the floor, Let's just take that in a bit tighter. So we're not getting anything we don't want. Okay, and I'm going to select all. And now if I turn the clip box off, we can see we've just selected the data within the clip box. So again, I'm just going to simply take a copy of that. I'm going to call it pillar. And we've got a pillar, a pillar there now. And I'm going to delete the original points. So again, turn the pillar on and off. There we go. Um, that's really it now for the editing. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the editing box. Uh, I'm going to start generating our animation now. So first things first, I think I'm going to set up the starting point for the data. Uh, I'm going to create an animation. So I've got our animator window open down here. I'm just turning the editing off. Um, so let's create a new animation and I've got one keyframe uh, with just the camera in here. Uh, so I'm going to start by adding the pillar and the roof to our animation, which means we can also animate those objects within the scene. Um, so let's take the pillar for starters, turn our control on, and I'm going to get that I don't know, let's put it down below the ground so when we're in here we can see there's no pillar. And similarly with the roof, I'm going to move, let's stop the camera moving each time I do that, let's move the roof off to the side. Okay, so I'm going to put myself back down here, I don't know, about eye level, and I'm going to, let's say, look out the roof the lovely sunny sky up there as a starter. Um, I'm going to press, press the I button here to set that camera position. 
job's good. So next thing I'm going to do is I want to set up my next frame, uh, which to be honest, I'm going to leave here. I want to see the roof flying into my data. So I'm just going to add, simply add a new keyframe, which would be in exactly the same position. But what I'm going to want to do is move the roof back to where it should be. Um, and simply, I could either move it manually or as I'm now on uh, keyframe 2, I can select the roof. I'm going to reset its position and the roof is back where it should be. So I go to keyframe 1, it's gone. Keyframe 2, it's there. Um, now, I don't want any splining going on or anything. I'm going to make that no, 4 seconds. There and camera can move again. If I press play, you can see the roof coming in. <clears throat> and if I turn the camera movement off, I can push my position myself anywhere and watch that animation happen in real time from wherever I am or want to be. <clears throat> be that here in the software or in a VR headset or anything. So that's that bit coming in. OK, let's put that back on, put myself back into this position here. Um, so the next thing I want to see is the pillar coming back into position. So uh, I'm going to change my point of view to look at where the pillar should be. There we go. And I'm going to add a keyframe. Again, I don't want any splining going on. And then I'm going to add another one. And here I'm going to restore the pillar back to where it should be. There we go. So now if I play this from the beginning, we should see our roof come in. We'll look down to here and then we'll see the pillar come out of the ground back to where it should be. There we go. And I say this can be done with 3D models, drawings, pictures, objects, anything that can be inserted into Arena 4D can be animated in this way. Um, this is just a really simple um, example. Um, but now that's all done, I can produce a video of it. So I hit the record button. Uh, I want it as MP4, high def. You can, with Arena 4D, uh, go up to 16K resolution video if you really want to. Um, I'm not sure anyone would want to, but it's there as an option. Uh, I'm just going to stick with standard high definition video. Uh, 25 frames a second. I, I just leave it all as default as a nice simple video. Um, if I want to I could have it as a panoramic 360 video for loading into YouTube or any 360 viewer. Um, uh, I could have stereo if I wanted it in uh, 3D on a television but I'm just going to leave it all as default and process that and then at the end of the video I will attach uh, the generated video uh, so you can see what the end result is. So let's kick process, save it on my desktop as test video, and that's off processing now. Um, and we'll be back to see the end result shortly.